Hi everyone, welcome to week 19 of Nutrition Bites. Okay, so today I'm going to be sharing a super easy recipe for baked potato and chili, one of my favorite um, fast, convenient meals. Okay, so we'll talk about the ingredients. Then, because this is a really quick meal to make, we're gonna talk about convenience meals, how to keep it simple in the kitchen. Um, then I'll share some meal prepping tips as well as some more meal ideas that are also quick and easy. And then the weekly challenge. Okay, so this is one of my favorite go-to recipes for dinner on a busy night, um, doing a russet potato. You can even cook it in the microwave. Um, then I get um, just a can of vegetarian chili. You can get low sodium. Um, there's lots of varieties out there at different grocery stores. A can of chili. You can also make your own chili. I'll share a couple um, recipes for super easy homemade chili uh, in the article version of this. So the baked potato, chili, add some salsa, add some frozen broccoli, preferably the type that you can just microwave in the package, and then some sort of vegan sour cream or Greek yogurt um, as like a creamy dressing on top. Okay, so that's a super easy meal to make. So I just wanna talk about some other convenience meals or ingredients that I have as staples in my kitchen and I highly recommend that you do as well. So steam in bag fresh or frozen veggies. Really great because you can just pop them in the microwave and cook them that way. Um, I also am a big fan of canned vegetables or fruit, um, but just be careful to look for ones that are low in sodium or don't have any added sugars or like juice. Make sure they're in like for canned fruit that it's in their own fruit juices and not like an added juice cocktail. Um, I also really like microwavable rice or quinoa. This makes meal prepping super easy. Um, canned vegetable soup. Amy's, the brand Amy's has great um, canned vegetable soups that I just doctor up with a few extra seasonings and it tastes great. Um, I'm also a big fan of pre-washed or pre-cut fruit and veggies for super easy prep. Um, quick cooking plain oatmeal. Um, again, I would just say make sure to get the plain because the ones that are flavored can have a lot of sugar. Um, so if you get the, the plain one, it, that's going to be a great quick breakfast option for you. Um, Plant-based protein shakes like the ones that come in the little carton. So Orgain or Kate Farms. Those are nice to just have on hand if, hey, you can't prepare a meal today. You don't have time for lunch. Like just keeping one of those with you at work um, for some protein and some some nutrients is a good idea. Um, and then I'm also a big fan of certain frozen meals. Um, Forks Over Knives has three really great frozen meals that you can buy at Sprouts. Um, so I highly recommend those. Um, just having a couple in your freezer for when it gets too busy and you can't cook, cook like you normally can. Okay, so here are a few tricks to keep it simple. I am a big fan of just keeping it really simple in the kitchen and not overcomplicating things. So I want you to make a list of five to 10 simple meals that you really enjoy. Like write it out, you can write them on sticky notes. Um, and then take this list and rotate these meals throughout the week or every other week. You don't have to come up with something new to cook for dinner every night. You can repeat the same meals over and over again. Um, and that really simplifies things. So if you do this, if you come up with five or six meals, one way to make sure that you don't get bored is to find small substitutions that you can make within that recipe. So for example, say you're doing like a tofu scramble. Um, one week you could have the tofu, the next week you could use tempeh instead of tofu. So then you're kind of mixing up some of the flavors, some of the consistencies um, to add some variety. Um, I also recommend switching up the type of beans that you use. So if you're having a Greek salad, you know, one week you could do garbanzo beans, the next week you could do kidney beans, the next week you could do white beans, just kind of mix it up to give yourself variety and flavors, textures and nutrients as well. Um, and lastly, like I said before, I always like to have quick prep foods on hand or a few meals in the freezer. All right, here are some of my meal prepping tips. So first and foremost, you should invest in some good containers, preferably the glass ones that have like a snap on lid. Those are really great because if they're glass, you can, you can bake them. Um, obviously without the lid. Um, so once you've invested in some good containers, the next step is to know what's in your pantry, fridge, and freezer. 
So in order to meal prep, you want to know what you already have on hand so that you don't waste money at the grocery store buying duplicates of things. Um, I also recommend that you always keep stocked up on certain essential foods like canned beans, frozen veggies, and quick cooking grains. Because if you don't have anything in mind and you have these things on hand, you can throw them all together and do like a rice bowl with black beans, brown rice, and some frozen veggies that you've, you know, heated up. Um, fourth tip, be okay with leftovers. I know leftovers sometimes aren't the best, but if, if you can find a way to incorporate leftovers into your life, it will make things simpler. So just making a huge batch of, you know, whatever the one meal is, and then eating that for lunch two or three times during the week really simplifies things. Um, so then what I like to do is I choose three or four meals that I'm going to make for the week. And then I just make sure to make enough so that we have leftovers because obviously we eat more than three or four times in a week. But if I make double batches of, of these food items I, there, I have a lot more meals that I can take to lunch to work or eat at dinner, um, eat at home for dinner. Another tip that I heard from someone was to prep your ingredients, not necessarily prep your meals. So think of prepping meals as putting your salad, assembling your salad in a bowl all together, like in a container that you're going to take to work. So you're going to put the beans and the lettuce and the, the vegetables and the dressing, and you're going to make seven jars of that salad or something like that. Another way that you could do it instead is just prep the ingredients. So chop your lettuce, put it in the fridge, chop your tomatoes, put that in the fridge, Ch uh, you know, open a can of beans, put that in the fridge, open a can of corn, put that in the fridge. And so then you have all these ingredients ready to go. You just pull them out and you can assemble them quickly. Um, again, I think I've said this, make double batches of meals so that you can take it for lunch the next day or eat for dinner the next day it really helps to simplify things. Okay, so these recipes are going to be shared in the article version. These are just some more simple recipes that I like to um, make frequently because they're so easy. Um, so easy chili, um, it's a recipe with literally just a couple cans of beans, some uh, diced tomatoes, some salsa, very simple. Um, hummus roll up. So these are tortillas with hummus and then vegetables, spinach, green chilies, um, and the nourish bowl. So these are like our one pot meals where we just have rice, beans, veggies, and a dressing. Um, great for weeknight dinners. Okay, so for the weekly challenge this week, I wanna challenge you to write out your list of five to 10 favorite meals and then start to cycle them through your weeks so that you can simplify things in the kitchen. That is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you all next week.